So in regards to raw meat-based diets, we do have a growing body of evidence in the literature looking at these diets. One of the big concerns about feeding raw meat-based diets is the infectious potential. Um, a lot of these diets can be contaminated with bacteria that can cause uh, health concerns for both the pet and the people who are coming in contact with the pet. And so if you are feeding a raw meat-based diet, it's, in, it's important to recognize that that is a, a risk when, you're, when you are feeding those diets. Um, some of the studies have looked at are there potential benefits in the feeding raw meat-based diets. And most of the benefits that get reported on the internet, a lot of these are going to be antidotal. So they're not going to be based on things that are published in the scientific literature. Some of the studies have looked at things like digestibility of diets, uh, and a lot of raw meat-based diets are going to have a high digestibility. And uh, so that's something that is shown in the veterinary literature. And so sometimes there are some patients that may benefit from that. Um, high digestibility is something that can be done with a home-cooked diet, it can be done in a cooked diet, it can be done in a conventionally made uh, commercial diet. Uh, so it's not, it's not something that is just exclusive to raw meat-based diets. Um, a lot of times too people will report like shiny coats and healthier skin and coat. And it's not surprising because a lot of these are really high fat diets and, high, and fat is one of those things that can help support the skin and coat. And so while we do see some of those things, I will tell my pet owners that while we may have some of these benefits, it may not outweigh the risk. Uh, we do have case reports of even pets getting sick from raw meat-based diets. Uh, so it is something that's really important. I think and when I talk to my pet owners in my exam room about it, you know, we talk about what we know in the literature and uh, and you know, there are health risks associated with it. And so it's my job as a veterinarian, just like if I am prescribing a drug that has known side effects to go along with it, it's my job to inform the owners of the risk when they do do, do these things so that they can make informed decisions.